Well, good morning. Welcome to West Michigan. Beautiful day here, great skies, great paddling. And I'm here to talk to you about the kayak caboose. We've got two models of trailers, kayak trailers, that I want to chat with you about today. Uh, the first is our best seller and our principal uh, trailer, which is called the kayak caboose. And this is set up to put J hooks on these upholstered cross bunks. And I'll tell you about our vertical kayak caboose in just a minute. But before I do that, I'd like to talk to you about the, the composition, construction, and the quality of these. Um, I can, we can maybe give you a close up later, but you should see that the base frames are all welded together. There's no bolting of any of the structural items on the frame. We, that takes up to 950 pounds of the frame itself. Uh, equipped without the kayaks weighs about 225 to 250 pounds depending upon the size 14 gauge steel we dip galvanize them which means that we put them in a big vat um, and the and the the nickel composition flows right into the inside channels of these of the steel which means that the inside is galvanized just like the outside. And as maybe you know, rust generally begins on the inside. So we think we have a, a heavy gauge, well-designed, well weather protected basic frame. On that frame, we put high-speed tires. I've taken these things across country to Idaho and Texas, uh, Florida and Virginia. So, we, so they're really road worthy and the nice thing is we run all the electrical inside these channels so that if you're going off road, for instance, we go up to Chinook Islands or we go up to Drummond Island and there's a lot of rough, rough country up there. If we go off road a little bit, there are no hanging wires to be snared off by the weeds. The, we build it on a rectangular frame so that the actual amount of exposed tongue is only about six feet and we like to talk about the, the design of our product is much more like a mouse trap and substantial versus most of our competitors who have a longer tongue thinner gauge steel uh, and they come off of a little box in the back of four by four which houses and supports the axle well here we have an eight foot long rectangle with a three foot high triangle so we think the support is great. In our two models, and actually I should tell you that we have uh, trailers from 14, 16, and 18 foot with some special trailers up to 20, and two widths, 54 inches and 42 inches. This happens to be a 54 inch wide trailer, and we do that, and it's 16 foot long, so we can get uh, a tool chest inside of here which takes up a huge amount of storage for paddles, life preservers, or any kind of other camping active area, activity, uh, other kind of camping gear. To these bunks, we put on J-hooks, and we secure the boats. There, we could easily get five of them across here, but the boats ride much better off of uh, uh, or inner cradle and off this wood base, uh, this upholstered wooden base. So this is really our most popular. I show up front here, a uh, bike receiver, in case you've got a rack for bicycles that comes off the back of your vehicle right now. We simply put this receiver on for that bike rack. We also have a mast that comes up about three foot that, uh, that if you don't have a bike rack already, that mast is a wonderful support for up to five, sorry, up to four bicycles. This is a, a newer model that we use for small kayaks. This is used generally for 10 footers or so that um, may have a lower price point. This has a lower price point cost than our uh, other model. Still a lot of options. Here we put a deck on it, as you can see, and we'll, the customer will we'll put D-rings on it. We'll put a, a cargo container on that. The rest 
the boats on here, and uh, sometimes we try to find padding for these steel rods, but, but essentially the, the boats uh, are secure here, and this is devised really as a, as a family unit, uh, trying to get out quickly out to the water. We've, we've applied a special strategy with our bike hook up here, bike rack up here. This can take two bikes on this side and two bikes on the other side. This is in contrast to our bike mast that comes off of the tongue on our kayak caboose. This is sort of the kayak caboose V for vertical. So we don't have room necessarily for that mast. We could put it up here. This particular person wanted it uh, right on the crossbar. It's called a stabilization bar. So here we are. These things will cost between $1,100 and $1,500 or $1,600, depending upon the options you put on them. Uh, this has absolutely the same frame, same quality of welding, the same quality of galvanization, and the same quality of design. And uh, we tell our customers that uh, put these things in your will because they're going to probably outlast you since we don't see them getting uh, rusted out or in, in decline. So thank you for your time. I'm Skip. Give me a call whenever it's whenever you're interested. These have become really popular trailers. We try to get them to you in a week or 10 days. We prefer to find a way to get them to you assembled so that uh, we find a way to deliver them. You can pick them up. And as you can tell, we can do a lot of specialty options. Most of the things are bolted onto the basic frame and we are excited about chatting with you about that, just give me a call at 616-366-1146, and I appreciate your interest. Thanks very much.